In the School for Autism this half term, our topic is space and each of the classes are having a different approach to the exploration and investigation of the topic of space. To start this topic, we had a WOW event in the hall and in our sensory studio. And in preparation for that WOW event, all the classes made their very own astronaut helmet, ready for space camp. So now I'm gonna show you how to make an astronaut helmet at home. You're going to need a cardboard box, that's big enough to put your head inside. Some glue. Some scissors. Some shiny tin foil. And anything else that you might like to use to decorate your helmet. So we're going to start first of all by cutting the flaps off the bottom of the box. And then we're going to cut a semicircle on one of the long edges to make a gap for our eyes. And you might want to get an adult to help you with this if it's a bit tricky with the scissors. So we should have something that looks like this. So next we're going to take our shiny tin foil and we're going to rip it into strips. They can be short ones and they can be long ones. So now we've got lots of strips of shiny tin foil and our box ready to go. So we need our glue stick and we're going to put plenty of glue on the dull side of our tin foil. And we're going to start to stick that down on our box. So we want to completely cover our box in our shiny tin foil. And then it's ready to decorate. Okay, so now our box is completely covered in our shiny tin foil. We can decorate it however we choose. So in my class, we took a little piece of cellophane and we stuck it just on the inside. create a sun visor to protect your eyes from the bright sun while you're out exploring in space. Another option is to cut out some star and moon shapes from shiny paper or different coloured paper and stick those on our helmet. I also need a radio so we can communicate with everyone back on the spaceship. very own space helmet. <laughs>